Hey guys, today I'm gonna make be remaking the video of me showing you guys how to do different gymnastics moves. So basically, I have all of these little stars that I made, and you can um get some too. Like um, you can like make whatever you want. You can use paper. You can use toys. But you're gonna try to collect all of them, the least to greatest. So, um, so basically, I'm going to do, like, I'm going to teach you a cart, like, let's say a cartwheel. And then, I get to collect one of these. And, um, you want to collect one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to collect six. So, you get six pieces of paper or whatever you're using. And maybe color them or do whatever you want with them. But I use these. I made them at school. And they're really cool. You just get a piece of yarn and you like do a weird thing. It's probably on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I don't remember how to do them because I did them last year. So, so it's like, like let's say my first one was a um, front roll. So I teach you how to do front roll. You get to collect one of these. And then you do all of them. And if you collect all of them, good job. So we're gonna have to try to collect all of them. I just want to make fun game. Okay, so get your number one. Do you? It might be helpful to like do them in line or like with numbers on them. But this is my one, so I'm gonna try to collect this. And the first move is a front roll. So I'm gonna do it on my couch. Couch. What should I do on my floor? And I can do it on my couch. Action now. Okay. So basically, you might want to get like a blanket because if you have hard ground, and even if you have like a gymnastics mat, that would be really good. Okay, but I don't. So so basically. You're gonna wanna start in this position. So this position, you put your hands on the ground. You like, you put your hands up on the ground. So just practice that. Down, hands on the ground. Down, hands on the ground. Then start trying to lift your feet off the ground. So down, hands on the ground. Down, hands on the ground. So you're gonna be basically do down, hands on the ground, bend, and put your head on. So, bend, hands on the ground, bend, head. So practice that a few times, and then, then you're just gonna fall on your back, and try to like arch your back so you don't just land right on your back, cause that would hurt on floor. You're basically do like that, yeah. So, down, hands on the ground, bend, head, and arch your back. And you can use your hand, but I land on this position too, so I think it will look better. So, bend, hands, arch, and land like that. So, let's do it about like three times. So, bend. Arms on the ground, bend your arms, put your head on the ground, arch, and stand up. One more time. Bend, hands on the ground, bend, and roll. So, and if you can't do that, so that's like the like one if you can already do a front roll, but if you can't even do that, your thing is. Go on your knees. You can skip these two, like, um, skip this part if you already know how to do, like, you did that. But if you didn't do that properly, this is how you practice. So you just get on your knees and you put your hands out. So it's basically not standing up. So you just do this. But you don't have to stand up at the end. I just like, so... For people who can already do, 
this that I didn't know arch my back so I kind of hurt myself. But, so if people, if you can already do that, this is what you should be working on. Bend, put your hands on the ground, bend your arms, put your hands on the ground, and arch your back, and stand up. And then you guys can keep working on it. And then if you can't do that, do the other thing that I showed you. Now we're gonna go into back. I might have to do this on my couch, but let's try it. I'm just gonna try my normal black back off. Great. Just don't copy this. I'm just seeing if I can do it. In the floor. So, um, this is for beginner. So they just wanna start on their butt, <coughs> bum, <coughs> and they're just gonna sit. Um, crisscross applesauce. Put your um back on the ground, and you're just gonna um, try to do this and go. And if you can't do that, just try this. Just rolling on your back. If you can do that, try like walking. Well, okay, actually don't do this. So if you can do that, try to put your feet on the ground. So if you do that. And then you can put it all together. So on your mom, crisp that that sauce, and then roll. And try to you do it. And if you don't really get get that one and you want to keep practicing, that's <coughs> fine. But let's see, like if you can already do that one, you should start practicing this one. So you do the same thing but backwards. And you go on your um knee. And then you just and try to land, try to land on this position. And try to do a full up for you. This, if you can already do a back roll or a front roll, you can just skip these parts and go to like the cart wheels and round offs. This and down and, and try to like. Put your hands by your ears. That will help. Like, like I don't want to see those ears. So hide those ears. Okay, so start. So yeah, just try that. So bend. And, and if you can do that, start like touching the ground with your toes. So. And now try to put your hands by your ears. So, like bend them and then launch back up. See what I mean? So, if you keep practicing that, this is what you're, this is a proper um, back roll. Okay? Yeah, I can barely do it. So, that's how you do a back roll. So, you're not going to be needing this anymore. Because we're done with the rolls. If you want to keep doing your rolls, you can. But we're going to move on to purples and handstands. So first, we're going to do handstand. So, we're going to in the same place that I do like basically all my shorts. You're in the famous area of so you're gonna go to a wall. You're gonna up, put your hands on the ground, kick up. And then when you're in that, turn, look down. And there you go. And then try putting your head on the wall. It kind of seems weird, weird. But try to put your head on the wall. So when you're here, put your on the wall and then when you get like you know that um 
can start practicing it on a real four. So what I wish to do, I use a catch. So basically, I just do a handstand and try to balance, but if you fall over, you just land in the catch. So let's practice. If you just fall over, you land on the couch. Oh, fall over. See? So practice that until you get good at it. And then, when you're really good at it, do an L stand. So L stand looks like an L but in the air. That. See the L? It might have been a backwards L. Just like that. And maybe try it both ways. Now try and do, I think it's kind of Y handstand. It's where you bend. So you know how we were just doing L stand in the bottom leg. This leg that stays on the ground. Um, um, it's gonna be bent. So do this, kick up, bend it. So it's just like our L stand, but bent. And then squeeze both. I know it sounds weird, but just squeeze all your muscles and put your ears to your ears so you won't see them. And if you cannot even do that, just keep doing um, the couch handstand. So now we're gonna move on to cartwheels. Cartwheels are really fun. So first, you're gonna do, you're gonna, you're gonna face which way? You're gonna turn. So starfish, turn, arms down. And then this, and then hands up. If you need a back up, you can. And then you're just gonna, so try to do. So you're gonna want all your weight on this foot. So you're gonna, so you're gonna swing back and forth. And then I do four reps of those. So one, two. Three, up, and do a cartwheel. So what you should be practicing, starfish, turn, arms down, and then arms up, and then start doing your six. So, so I do four. So one, two, three, no, three, four, and then when you're done four or as many as you want, you put your hand and you, and then you put all the weight on this foot. So first it's on this foot. You're just doing back and forth. And then you put this up and just like, like almost like you're doing this, but with no arm. So boom. So just practice that. So start push, turn. One, two, three, four. Gingo. So let's just practice a half handstand. So this is a half handstand. You do that on beam, it's called dismount, but this is what I teach people to like practice handstands. So you surfish, turn, sway back and forth. So one, two, three, four, and up. And put all the weight on this. And put your hands down. And do that. So yeah.
But I know it sounds weird, but you want to do it. And then when you do the cartwheel, you want to land in the same position. And sometimes it helps. Like get something to do on. I don't know. Okay. So let's start this from one, two, three, four. Yep. And like, so when you're doing that, for the family foot, so you're gonna flex it, you're gonna put it down, and you're gonna point it, and that's when you're gonna wanna do it. So, one, two, three, four, yep. Flex on your heel, point. And that's how you're gonna get all of that energy. So, start this, turn. One, two, three, four. Flex. Point. And then, do, so if you don't, you can't do that, do a baby cartwheel. Just, just do that, or the same group practice. So this one. Okay, now I don't have a lot of time, so only round offs. And then maybe I'll do other videos of like back walkovers. It's so round offs. You're gonna want to do that same thing, but you need to you need to learn a cartwheel. If you can't do a cartwheel, you can't do a round off. So what you want to do? Do your steps. And you're gonna wanna, you have to have a lot of power. So I usually do five reps. <laughs> and you wanna like bend and push back. Push back. Okay, I've done five. Now I'm gonna get, just try um, using a lot of power, but with a cartwheel. And, yeah, yeah. Try staying there. And then, when you're doing it, try to put your feet together. If you can, so try this. Try doing, so trying to do that dismount, but with your feet together, so. So look, feet together. I'm gonna put your hands in, you're gonna jump. And then, each time get higher and higher. Keep doing that until you really got it. And then you can actually do your round off. So do a cartwheel, but you put your feet together at the end. See, I think running is better than the arm. So then you might just want to do like a gap walk. So gap up. You can't do the same. So you're gonna have to have a lot of energy on this foot. So here, because you can't do the side to that. Because I'm doing running. So gallop in. You can't stop though. I'm just stopping to give you a little thing. Energy. That one round off looks like. So you can go to an upper tutorial and do round offs, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to do a spin. So, you're gonna put your feet like that, and you're gonna put your hands like this. So you get it? And you're gonna, you're gonna put your, so try that. Just try doing, so when you come in, you put your feet like, you put your arms like, that. Or if you want to do them like this. This or this. So, so just try and do a half spin. It might help for you to like swing. So, 
and then um, just keep working on that and then try getting all of that to like this. And eventually, if you keep doing that over and over and practicing every day, um, you'll get that. I forgot about the stars. Okay, so we collected this one front roll, back roll, handstand. Curve Round up. Spin. We collected all of our stars. Good job, guys. So look. Whatever you have, you collect all of them. Make sure to do this with anything you got at home. Just make something and then do practice your cartwheels and you'll feel much more better. Or like if you want to conditioning, do push-ups. You can like, so let's say I do one push up. That means I can do this. One card roll. This, one round off. This, one handstand. This, hmm, one spin. And one round off. And one, what else? Okay, let's just say sit up. One sit up. And then when you do all of them, you feel so good because you collected all these and it just remembers how much you work. And I'll give that all of those remem memories and like of you practicing, and you just feel good because you um so you just did something and you collected all of them, so you just like feel good about yourself. So yes, um, if you guys like today, um. Um, make sure to subscribe and like. If this like gets like 30 views or higher, I will do a part two of doing, um, showing how to do a round off better and showing how to do other spins, showing to do push ups, sit ups, pull ups, and all those fun things. So, and maybe, yeah. So, if you guys like today, um, I like today, it was really fun, and did you guys like how we did the star thing? I really did, because, like, it just reminds you that you did it, you did it. You should also do it, so if you're having a competition or something, and you, let's, like, let's say dance, you, you can do it on dance, gymnastics, let's say gymnastics, you did your floor event. Um, you get one of these. So you say, oh my god, I got floor. And then you say, oh my god, I did beam. Oh my gosh, I did ball. Oh my god, I did bars. And then, maybe you can hang these up. And, you, and like, you can hang whatever you use up. And just rem it just reminds you of how much you worked on it. And then you can also do it like on dance, let's say, or on like a test. Let's say at test at school you solve one question and then you come home and like, let's say I did two plus two, get one of those. Let's say I did nine plus two, and get one of those. So it just makes you feel good about yourself. And yeah. Like, I did these last year, and I still hang them up for Christmas because they remind me of how much I worked on them and how much I love all my family. And, yeah. Don't they look awesome? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, if you guys like today, um, I like today awesome. So, sure if you didn't subscribe subscribe like and share and if you're new to the channel my name is georgia so yeah bye guys